So it's been an eventful week on our morning shows. Here's a look back at some of our favorite moments so far. Plus, coconut or icing, how do you decorate for snow? Details on the joys of National Gingerbread House Day in just a bit. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for waking up with us on Fox 14, your morning news. I'm Raven Jackson. And I'm Connor Ingalls. How come when we play the video, there's no coconut? It's all icing. You know, I didn't quite notice that. Really, I'm putting everybody on. The fluff of the coconut makes it look like real snow. Ugh, it's just, it should it's be not going to catch on. I want a blue ribbon. Nobody likes orange. coconut. So somebody thought it was good. You ever been to a birthday party and somebody has a coconut cake? Mm -mm. That's just. I think you're being rude to the people who. Among like the worst things coconut. that could happen. I think they're being rude to my taste buds, but putting coconut on a cake. Your taste buds need to upgrade. Mm. It sounds like something out of a movie, a long lost love letter between a soldier and his dearest Martha. But that's exactly what turned up in Georgia. Now the search is on for whoever wrote it. We have that story up next on NBC 10. The story has a lot of layers to me. I, yeah. I, first and foremost, I think it's very sweet, and I hope they can find whoever the couple is. I, I hope they're still out there. I hope they're still together. That would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. But a couple of, how did this end up on the floor of a Walmart? Yeah. Just out of nowhere. Yeah. After 64 years, yeah. it's just on the floor of a Walmart. Someone must have dropped it. And they opened the letter, and I don't know how I feel about it. I'm glad, because it's got sweet. It. I guess you got it, but like, one, I think it's illegal to open letters, technically. Two, that are postmarked. So you find a, a random letter. It's, it's kind of a sweet thing. It? it was meant between two people. You try to find them, but I don't know. I think more there's always something strange about Maybe reading it. you never got it, and that makes you kind of sad at the end, because what if that had some bigger implications? Yeah, well, the little okay. part about <laughs> wanting to get to your parents to marry you, and like she never got uh, the letter. That's horrible. It's like, what happened? <sighs> yeah, I, I am hoping for the best, and that they're out yeah. there and they can find it. But again, I don't know if we should have all read it. It's fun, and it's cute, but like... So not only did they open it, they put it on national television. <laughs> yeah, we're reading it here. That happened in Georgia. We're talking about it here. Yeah. It is sweet, though, so yeah. that's the news. 712 here on Fox 14. So on our other hour on our sister station, NBC 10, we said we didn't know too many horses yeah. that like came to mind. We were in the wrong. There are plenty of horses. There's a lot. That are famous. We're getting some viewers yeah. letting us know about them. So we're going to Yeah, I'm going to read these go. off to you on my phone. Yeah. From Tracy, uh, a couple Flicka, Trigger, Comanche, Scout, Silver. Mr. Ed, that's the one. The I new Mr. Ed. Remember. And I've heard Flicka before. Um, Black Stallion. And then some famous ones that you may have seen on TV. Mm -hmm. Secretariat. And a Secretariat. Barbara, Seattle Slough. Barbara. Those are, those are the, the first ones of the movie. These are the, yeah. the actual race horse. Seattle Slough. Seabiscuit's fake, though, right? I thought Seabiscuit a real horse? I thought Seabiscuit was. Seabiscuit was acted. It was like a real movie, but like. I thought it was based on a true story. Was it? We got a lot to learn. Okay, yeah. We lacking in horse knowledge. I thought Seabiscuit was a real one. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of horses. So National Day of the Horse, not National Horse Day, Day of the Horse. You'd imagine the terror of being chased down the street by a relentless, cold-blooded turkey. A Wisconsin kid lived that nightmare only to be saved by a heroic passerby. We've got her retelling of the incident complete with the video next on NBC10. That's one of my favorite videos we've run this year. That turkey is on a mission right after that little boy. And I like how yeah. even after she stops him, he doesn't... He doesn't stop. He keeps going. He went around the car. I wouldn't stop either. That thing was on a mission. No, the turkey didn't stop, I'm saying. Oh. Went around the car, kept going after him. Crazy. That's turkey a really, really was on random a mission. day. You just wake up not knowing you're going to get chased by an angry No, that's t and I relate to this kid because I think I've said it before on air. I once got chased by a goose when I was like Wild goose chase. five, six years old. I kept messing with the goose, and my dad was like, that goose is going to get you. And I kept doing it, and it turned and like came after me. Well, and that was terrifying. Goose again. I screamed. No, not at all. So this all kid right. learned his lesson with the birds. I don't know how that happened, though. I don't know if he deserved it. This turkey turkey. survived Thanksgiving. No. Look at the confidence. Exactly, right? Yeah. So I can't let it happen. And if you missed any of it, be sure to tune in tomorrow. We'll get going at 5 a.m. on NBC 10 and 7 on Fox 14. See you all then.